So the load shifted when we came down that incline there, heading to the back here. And well, we got a ways to go. And uh, got a lot of gear on there. So I want to get the campsite. It's uh, 12.30 now. I'd like to make it there before two. Yeah, that's where we're headed. Headed to those hardwoods. Alright, so we made it in, and uh, I'm kind of glad that I packed the trail down yesterday in here. Got a little bit of a late start, but we made it in, and uh, huh, now we got to unpack after we just packed everything, and uh, get the tent up, put the stove up, cut firewood, get the stove going, and boil some water. I did bring. Uh, 32 ounces of water just to slug while I was working. And here's the thing. Uh, I only have on just a uh, micro micro uh, wool top, uh, merino wool. I have that and I have this wool shirt. I'm exerting a lot of energy. I don't have any big heavy wool clothes on right now. Very simple reason. I'd overheat while pulling the toboggan. There's a lot of weight on there. There's about 250 pounds on there right now probably brought more than I really needed right now but again I like to figure out what's gonna work on a trip what doesn't work on a trip and start getting everything and fine-tuning it so that'll be reflected in, uh, in the journey tonight so uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, get going here So we put the uh, toboggan, once we emptied it off, I just put it out in the sun for the time being. I'll let that snow melt off of there. And then I'll turn it over so I don't get frost on it for when we're leaving. And we'll keep it clean. Frost is friction, and you don't want friction when you're pulling your toboggan.
So that's going to be our sleeping area and uh, equipment stash. Uh, we'll have our stove here. We're going to load this up with wood, put wood behind the stove as well, protect the, uh, the side of the tent. We're also going to put a uh, space blanket to reflect the heat back. And uh, this will be our little sitting area. So we'll just go from there. sticks just to make sure that we keep the stove pipe and everything secure and it's not just hanging there you don't want it to come along in a wind and blow it off I set my pipe if I can most of the time that's what we strive for is I want my stove pipe to be opposite the direction of the wind from where it originates reason being one we want all the smoke to come up and go out and the embers as well we don't want embers to come out and then go back down onto the tent. And also we don't want the wind to blow the smoke back down into the tent as well. water supply right here <clears throat> lots of it bring a canvas bucket with you collapses down small and well you got uh, lots and lots of water regardless so we're going to melt those down get our fire going finally and uh, make some hot tea so we got a supply of wood in that should at least last us for what we're gonna do. We need to boil up some tea right now and uh, get some more water so that we have it. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing fine. We're doing just fine. Well, so we're in for the night. Got some wood in and uh, made a sparse dinner. Got some sausage and uh, half a bagel with some alpine cheddar cheese. Uh, I cooked my uh, sausage and bacon and things. I pre cooked all that stuff, so all I gotta do is heat it up on the stove. Saves a lot of time. So, we're done for the evening. We'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.